Hello and welcome back to Tours and Tournaments. We are looking for a couple of things to do while our son comes of age. He is currently one years old and we want to wait until he's at least six and he can become our ward so we can take him all the way around the world. Um, and my thought is when we have him traveling, we're going to aim to travel to a bunch of places that are um, probably stewardship based. And the reason why I'm going to try and do that is so that we can skip the thing that we've done with the last couple of characters and that we've just finished with this character, which is that we have to do Architect first to effectively get down here. If we can get him a ton of early stewardship experience, he can kind of jump this line quite a lot, and then we can maybe focus on something else, which seems pretty good. Let me just check. We do have wards and get additional skills, and we have groom to rule. We're all set in terms of actually educating this child as well. It's all good stuff. Now, what do I want to do while we um, wait? Well, there are two things. The first one is I want to make sure that we're doing all the building that we can. I believe we are. And in fact, I believe we have done all the building that we can. Uh, except for maybe this one. The Duchy of Frisia. Now, I think the problem is if I take another duchy, I believe that land would be split upon succession if we were to get another heir. Oh, also, I don't need an heir anymore. We have heir in many spare. So let's take that off and put on the chastity belt. Wonderful. So that, that'll help us quite a lot. So that means that effectively we're going, this is our heir and these are our spares. Could cause some succession problems if he dies. Honestly, I just hope he doesn't die. He has great health. So the only way he's dying really is if somebody murders him, which would be bad. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Yes, uh, so we have a couple of different things. First is make sure we build everything. We probably want to do a building thing across a bunch of our vassal provinces as well. And then, then we want to have a look at Alba and Denmark. Now, why have I said Alba and Denmark? Well, I have a couple of different things I'm looking at for both of them. Now, somebody suggested that we may be able to declare a war on Alba as a holy war. Unfortunately, we're not able to do that because they're just astray, but... And when I had a look at it, I did see there are a couple of options. One, we have a claim on the Earldom of Mon. So we could potentially take that right there. We also have de jure land, which we do not have, which would seem good to get as well. So we have a couple of little wars on Alba that are probably worth declaring. Over here with Denmark, they are excommunicated. And obviously we could declare our excommunication war, but... What we could also do is we could go in here and request a claim. Now, he won't give us a claim on the Kingdom of Denmark, but he may give us a claim on, say, the Jarldom of Sjöland, or the Jarldom of Jarland, up here. And he will, in fact, give us a claim on those, because he has excommunicated uh, and a bunch of other things. But um, excommunicated gives us 25. The other thing about being excommunicated is it's not just this 25. If we go up here, you'll see that his the Pope's opinion of this guy is low. And I believe the Pope's opinion of this guy is lowered by the fact that this guy is excommunicated. So, although excommunicated gives um, 25 towards this, it also gives some into the opinion. The reason he was excommunicated also adds into uh, this, which will also then add into opinion. So... Effectively, because this guy was excommunicated, he had to be disliked by the Pope. He had to have done something that would make the Pope dislike him. And now he's excommunicated, the Pope dislikes him even more. Which means, effectively, he's going to say yes. So we could take one of these if we wanted to. Which might be an idea. Although, actually, the one I want is this one, Slevig. I would love to get Slevig so that we could give that to him as well. I wonder whether we can get claims on all the individual duchies of Denmark and then effectively just give the whole lot to this guy. Hmm, that would be interesting. Yeah. Um, also, have you married matrilineally? No, you haven't. You're going to ruin this over here. You're going to absolutely ruin this. Ah, dear. Well, whatever. Um, so, I'm thinking we might get a couple of claims and then just declare war in Denmark. You know, I think we'll do that first. So, uh, first things first, I want to get a claim on Slevik, if you'll give me it. If you won't, that's fine, but um, let's have a look. Request claim. No. He actually is pretty okay with that. Um, he, like, he likes this guy. What's your, your opinion of me is 24, so that's half opinion. So, if we were to get you to 100, 
you would give us 50, which means that you would give us an extra 38. Yes, that's not going to work. So it's only going to be 38. We'll be eight off if we gave him a gift or something. Okay. So it looks like we're not getting claims on all of Denmark, just a lot of it. All right. Well, I would like Yaland. Wait for the Pope to say yes. He did. I spent a bunch of piety for it. You have to spend piety as well? I'd completely forgotten. Oh, well. That's fine. Um, so we've now got a claim on Yaland. So I might just take it. Who won a war? Denmark has won a war against Finn. Okay. Cool. Uh, and then I think we just take it. I think we just declare our war on Denmark. Yeah. You got any allies? No. Okay. I'll declare a war for my claims. Let's go. Right. Uh, I think after this war we'll do some building and then we'll look at the Alba War. I think that seems good to me. What's this? Talk to Confidant? Don't think we need to do that. Don't need to do any of this right now. Probably a Grand Tournament would be good at some point, but, you know. We'll worry about that when we get there. Rare Solitude, Slippery When Wet. Um... Bathing alone is a rare treat for me, as the Emperor I'm attended at all times, either by genuine servants or else by vassals looking to have a quiet word without interruption, and even something as intimate as cleaning myself is subject to that. Gently leveraging my languid form from the bath, I grip the edge and step towards an awaiting stack of folded towels. Except not quite, my foot still wet slips and it's only through reflex I stop myself from toppling to the floor. Uh, why are we getting the death events? <laughs> How did my wife become pregnant? We have a minus 100 to fertility. How did our wife become pregnant? Hmm. Do we have any positives? Methinks our wife was cheating on us. Hmm. Maybe. Either that or it the event had already happened before we, um, you know, like before we put the chastity belt on. Which would also be possible. Are you going to my capital? You are. <laughs> Alright. Uh, split in half. Leave the half with the seizures there. And then you are going to head to my capital. Absolutely not. I mean, it's a great strategy. Because it's literally, I think, the only way they win. But, you know. Don't do that. It's my capital. Stay away. We have captured uh, this guy... We've captured this guy, who is the son of um, the King of Denmark. That's pretty good. We're now attacking them in here. We've destroyed them. The beating. Oh, what in the world has happened to my daughter, Clara? She is all bruised and beaten, and she refuses to name who dis did this to her. Was it an older child? Or did she pester a noble to the point of fury? If so much as a pin drops, Clara will be running for the safety of an empty closet. The poor girl seems to live in constant fear. Oh, this one's horrible. This is the horrible event. I guess you can be a craven. Oh, yeah, that's the same one we got. It's just not very good. Hey, you've just gained yourself an extra marshal because you've now become three years old. Wonderful. All right, let's chase this one. You finished your siege. Let's head to the next one. Okay. Keep pushing our way forward. Probably just moving our way kind of towards Denmark would be my guess here. Yeah, they might actually be heading all the way up towards Denmark. Oh, I caught them. It was just out of our territory, actually. We have wiped them completely. Uh, so they, they are now dead. Very, very dead. Captured some more enemy combatants. So we capped out on Battle War score. Not yet, but that's okay. Uh, you're going to head up to here. And this group is going to keep sieging. Um, I'm not good to accuse this person of murder. Right, there's Yaland. Do you have taken war score? Not yet, but we're going to head up here. Which one has the lowest um, fort level? They're all very low, so just choose one and go for it. Wonderful. And then we'll win in 50 days. We have a new acclaimed knight, unfortunately. It's fine. We have a new son called Guy, who is wheezing... Genius and Herculean. Is it, this is congenital trait. Interesting. Hmm. But how did you get the congenital trait? Because you don't have it. And you don't have it. I don't know. We could probably go back into the grandparents and somebody might have it. Um, but I don't know. 
Hmm. Well, we are going to call you Guy. Oh, yeah, somebody suggested that it was due to matrilineal versus uh, normal marriage, which determined how people were named. In our case, it is, like, you know, it, it's patrilineal marriage. So, I'm not entirely sure if that's why, but I think it must be something to do with the dynasty. I, I think it's in there, because matrilineal means you'll get the dynasty of the mother. So, I think it's something to do with, like, the fact that we're in the same dynasty that causes weirdness to happen with the naming system. Like, it might check whether you're the same dynasty or, or, or like, what dynasty they should be and then names them or something. I don't know. It's not really important. Also, we didn't wipe them, as I first thought. We were just sitting on top of them. Braggy, we can get you to join our court. It's actually not that good, so, no, go away. It's fine. We've beaten up that one. Level of fame has gone up to max. We would got another achievement that we didn't get. And we are going to enforce demands. Wonderful. Then let's dismiss our armies. And all of this land, I'm going to give. Actually, I was going to give it to you. But you're going to ruin things, aren't you? Because um, you've married them off uh, like this. Although I suppose, actually, if we have a look at this, you weren't even part of my dynasty in the first place. You were just my cousin. Yeah, you know what? We'll give this to somebody else who's a member of our dynasty. Uh, I'm going to look for dynasty... Folk Walding. And then just find somebody. Roland. Roland is the son of Clauvert and is the heir to the Kingdom of Wales. No, nah, I'm not going to give him this land then. How about Roggenwalder? Heir? You're not an heir. Reynod. Reynod is the son of Count Dietricht. And Dietricht's heir is Roggenwalder. But uh, wait a second. Oh, Reynod. Ah, he is the brother. Okay. Then you have children. Yeah, so this is fine. Reynod, I'm going to grant you Yoland. Fantastic. He's going to be very, very happy about this. Yep. He's very happy. Um. Oh, wow. Oh, he's a leper. I had not realized that, which means his heir is Rockenvolder, which... Oh, no. Means I messed up. Because <laughs> now you're going to be heir to this, and you're going to be the heir to West Friesland, which means that... Hmm. I had not realized that he was... I hadn't even clicked that he had a negative fertility thing on. Yeah. That's going to be a problem. And she doesn't have any positive fertility things. I'm, I'm really sorry. Can I revoke these titles? No. No, I cannot. Okay, well, that's, um, was not my intention initially, but okay. We will look at that in a year and see what we can do. We should also give away some of our swords and things to some of our, um, like, knights. That would make a lot of sense. Uh, that was a suggestion made, which I agree with. You know what, let's, let's go to, I was going to say let's go to each knight, but you're 66. You're probably going to lose things soon. Yeah. I don't know. Let's go to each knight who's of a younger age. Yeah, like you're 38. I am going to gift you an artifact. I'm going to gift you this um, prize sword that I have. Actually, that's pretty good. Um, I'm going to gift, gift you Emperor Gilbert's sword. Okay, he's going to be very happy with us. Fantastic. Here, I'm going to gift you... 53. That, that is at least like I'm not about to drop dead the second. I'm going to gift you. Is the prize bow... The prize bow is definitely worse than our prize sword. Yeah. So let's give you the prize bow. Wonderful. Right. We'll let that happen. Okay. That's fine. Um, men at arms, are you maxed out? You are very, very maxed out. Cool. Wonderful. I'm just see if we've got anything else I want to do immediately. We're okay. Cool. Clear those out. And we will wait. Uh, maybe we'll hold a tournament and then in a year I'll have a look at y'all and <laughs> revoke it. Uh, do we want to go on a tour or do we want to go on a tournament? Let's do a tournament when we set ourselves up. Ah, this is why I went in here. I wanted to see train. When is train available? There must be exist a grand tournament you can join. Oh, okay, but I gained stress for training? Really? Oh, okay. That's really annoying. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, 
Um, we might want to do that. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to hold a tournament anyway. Let's plan a tournament. If I set it somewhere else, does this mean that I can train for the tournament? I don't know. Because I'm, I've not set out yet, is my thought. So maybe I'll go to Dort. And then we'll just set up a tournament with Jousting. Actually, what do we want? I know we're going to take part, but what do we want in the tournament? Um, let's see here. Where Where is the one? It's this one, right? Yeah. Horse would be fine, because we could get it to max. Gives us prowess per level of fame and monthly renown. Um, we could probably go with horse, bow, foot. Horse, bow, foot, and then maybe start working on wit. Yeah, something like that would seem good, actually. So let's go to Dort, which gives us a bunch of money off. I'm not sure what, what it's for, but that's fine. We go melee, joust, um, archery, and then we'll finish it off with a board game tournament. Sure. Let's do that. Right. Start. We're going to put in our personal champion. We're going to go all the way up on these things. And we're going to start the Grand Tournament. Now, what should happen is now this should be available. No, because I'm busy participating in... Ah, so it has to be somebody else's Grand Tournament for this to trigger. Hmm. That's, that's, that's an odd situation. Okay, that's fine. Well, whatever. We've arrived. Uh, we want to do Tourney Grounds and Artisan's Quarters as much as we can. Hey, I lost stress. Didn't have any stress, but I lost it. Tournament has opened. People are arriving, giving me more uh, prestige, which is nice. Might want to go to church as well, just to raise our piety up a little bit. Although we are going to go on a uh, pilgrimage at some point, which will raise our piety pretty good, or pretty well. I uh, don't want to do anything with that event. That event is the one about getting somebody drunk, which doesn't actually help us that much in any way, shape, or form. Okay, we've lost our Seneschal. Well, let's uh, find him again. New Seneschal, it's going to be uh, no filter, no filter, this person. Wonderful. Back over here. Artisan's quarters in 12 days. One day. Let's go. Ooh, you can make my French battle axe better. Uh, you can give it two extra prowess. It's a huge amount of stress, but you make my French battle axe better. Ooh, that's a lot of stress we just took there. We can designate an heir for Hala. Now, Hala is not the second in line. The second in line is is Clara now. So, Hala, we need to just find you... Um, yeah, we need to just find you somebody to educate you. Who isn't us. So, what are you doing? You're doing a martial education. Okay. Uh, and then we'll just go down and look for anybody who's got, like, something like this. That seems good. Are you the best? No. There we go. Perfect. Let's go for that person. Right. Back in here. Uh, Tony Grounds. I'm um, hoping we can also lose some stress as well before we get the um, mental break. Tourney grounds. Impressed. The tourney grounds are bustling with preparations. The pages run around. Uh, the pages run around carrying pieces uh, pieces of armor that make them look like tiny scarecrows. Wait, one of them yells, picking up a helmet. I hear a familiar giggle coming from the uh, tribunes, and I see Empress Clara surrounded by other women who cover their mouths with handkerchiefs. She doesn't wave at me. She doesn't need to. Coming for some exercise, uh, Wolok, or Woldek, um walks past me, raising his chin. You'll need it. I'll make sure Clara is watching. We get impressive training. We have a chance to intimidate him, decrease his score, or I need to increase my score. I need to increase my score. Okay. Uh, when is the thing? 33 days. So, tourney grounds again in 30 days. Okay. It's fine. Hard one. Uh, Goslin, the showy knight who guards his passage by challenging all comers, has had to fight one too many. Hawkier has said, is said to have delivered him a frightful injury, opening way for nobles to pass freely once more. Um, frightful injury? You mean you killed Goslin, folk-wolding Utrecht? Oh. 
Okay. Um, the son of the Jarl of Weiss. Oh, I'm not entirely sure I'm okay with that, but that's fine. Um, that, that's one of the events that we've had while we're running tournaments. We just haven't actually, um, we didn't see the event this time. Okay. Uh, give and take. I see Ono striding towards me and briefly close my eyes in dismay. When I open them again, he is right in front of me, fixating at me with a forced smile that ill disguises a glare. Gilvoot, my lord, how wonderful to see you here and competing. He grabs him by the arm and walks us slightly away from the crowd to conspire. Look, I need a favour. His facade nearly cracks as I roll my eyes. I want to do well in this contest, and as one of your most powerful and loyal vassals, I was hoping I could count on your assistance. Try and get a strong hook on him and his score increases. And get money and his score increases. I can uh, get opinion and his score increases, or I can lower his score. Alright, I'll get my strong hook. That's fine. I mean, I'm just going to tell him to give up to me anyway, so. Glory will be ours. I qualified for the melee. Wonderful. I don't care. We're going to win. Doesn't matter who we fight. Okay. Um, Melee, a famous adversary. Amidst the blood and thunder of the melee, I can make out a figure approaching me on horseback. The symbols draped from the horse's neck reveal their identity even before they speak. A truly famed knight graces the field. Ah, Emperor Gilbert, it is indeed an honour. Dietrich removes his helmet before continuing. Finally, the two greatest knights known to the world meet. Two soldiers of honour who have competed together in blood so glory on the field, face to face at last. How often I have rehearsed this moment of destiny in my dreams. How the panoply to encapsulate the unspoken nobility of our comradeship. See ya. Just ran away from him. Sweet refuge. Exhausted, I stagger into the austere comforts of a refuge. All around me are competitors from both sides, armor rent, twisted, swords blunted and chipped. Squires and servants scurry around, helping their charges. I spy a few of my teammates restoring themselves. They greet me wearily as I slump down beside them, weary and aching. Watching from my shadowy position, I can see a resourceful market seller readying some hastily assembled food and drink to sell to the shattered uh, fighters. Edbert and... Emmerich watched the seller with some hope, while Heminger full cheerfully mumbles something about a speech. So I can beckon over the seller and we get a bunch of team score increases, gather round and give them a um, give them a speech, which would raise our wit, or I'll leave them to it. I'll just beckon over the seller. That seems fine. Let's do it. We got a score increase. Now we have to choose which one of these we want. I will win a soldier's victory. Okay, we got another great increase. And did we win? I ain't a manipulation hook on this guy. I lost. Oh no. Um, Count Dietrich's team beat my team. That's, that's just not on, really. Well, be it melee participant, but yeah. It's not what we were looking for. Let's go artisans. Um, okay. Um, forgive me, Lord, but he didn't pay the tanner to treat the leather. I take a close look, there be no mistake, the leather is fraying and worn, clearly not new in the background. The armor's purse jingles as he drops gold into it. So we can say, Clara, what's the meaning of this? And you can repair my stuff. I'll pay for quality strapping, or I don't have time for this. So this isn't actually improving the mail. This is just, we need it fixed. Okay, I'll pay the money. That's fine. Uh, tourney grounds we can go to in 20 days. Okay. Let's go. Um, here we have two people who are arguing. We can say this will not do. This is not a bandit camp. Okay. Come, do not embarrass your host. Out, remove the troublemakers or deck them. Mm, do not embarrass your host. Okay, they dueled anyway. Oh well. Uh, we got 30 days. We can go to the artisan's quarters. Let's go. Um, okay. Upon seeing my armor, Sissy puts his hands on his hips and exhales loudly. Well, the job's a big and shouldn't take too long for someone of my prestigious talents, of course. He grins toothily at me. I look at the armor. It seems fine to me. Sissy catches my skepticism and shakes his head. Now, nah, it definitely needs to go over. I wouldn't suggest it if it didn't. So we can do this, and there's a chance that we can increase its prowess. Ooh. That seems good. Let's do it. 
My score, my score decreased slightly, and the durability on the armor decreased. Wow, he um, he messed it up, huh? Okay. Well, um, of course Alderic will concede to his liege. Yep, we're back to doing this in the jousting. I won. Okay, of course Dietrich will concede to his liege. I won. All right, it's the final. I'm against, oh no, wait a second. I'm against Sigismund of Koblenz. He's not my vassal. I'm gonna have to actually joust. I'm, okay, it's too stressful, but we're gonna do it anyway. Um. Well, the two horses break into a trot. My lance begins to descend into its position, but I see no similar movements from my adversary, Sigismund. Instead, his lance points away from me far off target. The Mercy Pass is well known among those that are familiar with jousting. Once the pass has begun, deliberately aiming away from your opponent will signal you would like to appeal for a reset. It's a matter of respect for one's competitors to comply with that request. Of course, this is only if you see your opponent's wish. So I can get a slight increase, an opinion, or I can get a score increase. I didn't notice the request. I'm not honourable. Emmerich is going to lower my stress. Thank you very much, Emmerich. Okay. Um, I'm going to aim high, go low on the final tilt. Let's see if I get him. Hey, I've won. Is this the first time we've won jousting? Because I don't know if I've seen this uh, art before. Wonderful. Um, though we both got off to a good start, my arm wobbles and dips, slicing past my opponent's shield. The only reprieve is my opponent missing as high as I uh, do low. The crowd's grown thunderous. We reset a last time and my horse thunders towards Sigismund. I have a good feeling about this tilt. My lance strikes true straight into his shield with a deafening crash, an explosion of splinters, as his own flies past me. That's all the points I need. The judges call an end. I have won. Yes, I think what happens otherwise, uh, or what we've done previously, is we, um, we've we only watched the jousting. I don't think we've ever actually uh, competed. At least not till the end where we had to actually joust. Um, champion jouster. Fantastic. So we get, I actually won. We get some renown. Great stuff. Uh, tourney grants. We can get falconer experience, potentially. Excellent entertainment. Must take preparation. Double or nothing. I don't have time. I will take the falconer experience. They're not quite what I was after, but, you know, it's fine. Uh, so that's this one. So a little bit of experience. Not a lot, but a little bit. Also, we have a stewardship perk. Uh, I was going down to one of these, I guess. I think I was going just down here. Maybe to Soon Forgiven. Yes, yeah, so let's get Vassal Levy contribution. So we're currently at 33856. Um, 33856. We are now at 35083. Wonderful. Love to see it. Right. Arson's Quarters. Let's go. Ooh, you can make my blade deadlier and give it another eight prowess? I don't think that's not permanent, right? Yeah, this is the one that's not permanent because I'm sure we've done this before. Yeah. Um, yeah, give it eight prowess. It will only last for the duration of the tournament. Oh, but these will last longer. Oh, these last as long as we like. Okay. Let's put some, um, let's put some piety on it. Sure. Why not? That didn't seem to make any difference whatsoever to our piety per month. Maybe it'll calculate at the end of the month? I don't know. 15 days till we can open the tourney grounds? Or so we can go to the tourney grounds? That's cool. Hey, Ransom. Yeah, okay. Who else have I got in my prison? I'll take 50 gold for you. Uh, oh, you're good enough to join me. Welcome to the uh, team. Right back in here. Tourney Grounds. Uh, so we've got a 95% chance that we can get an increase to score. Or I can get a 100% chance that I gain some dread as well. Let's go 95 increase to score. Wonderful. That worked perfectly for us. Archery time. It's time to show the world my skill. Okay. We get a slight increase, or we can get a moderate increase, which I think we should get, because it also gives us experience. How's our experience looking now, actually, after that one? 
Hey, we're already at level two and we get this a small health boost. Love to see it. On the head, right, we got the moderate increase. We knew we would because it was 100%, but I guess it gives you that event in case it's not 100% for you. Uh, let's go for a 79% chance. And, great increase. Did we win? Ho ho, we did. Wonderful. So we have won. We got Merry Aim, which gives us a bunch of stuff. We got some Renown, and we will receive yet another prize. Okay, I gained more stress. My friend Clauvert is dead. That means that Roland Flippazun is now in charge. Okay, he's no longer my royal architect. Also, wait, he was my confidant. That's not good. Maybe I need a new confidant. Um. Ooh. Okay, you, my vassal, are going to be um, my new royal architect. Yes, that's fine. I still need to take this land back at some point. Can I revoke your title yet? Nope. Okay, back over here. Uh, let's go to the tourney grounds. Uh, so I can be starstruck and get close to getting a friendship with Jarl Bavel. Perhaps they could teach me a thing or two. Or sorry, who? I become grind, uh, grounded. So you get more stress loss. I really... The problem isn't stress loss, though, for me. My problem is more stress... Um, stress gain. Yeah, okay. We'll be starstruck. That's fine. 20 days I can go here. Although... Yeah, it probably means that I'm only going to be able to go to one of these ones. That's fine. Uh, we need a new steward. That's going to be... You, because you're much better. It's fine. Uh, back in here. Let's go artisans. Favors of a lady. I'm going to say nope. Not interested. We have 14 days. Oh, I think we can go to the tourney grounds as well. Our spouse's skill has given, uh, has gone up. She gained an extra uh, stewardship. Nice. Okay. Tourney grounds. Everyone can gain experience. Or I could say perhaps I shall take this on. And that, um, yeah, it doesn't really do very much. Okay, why don't you gain some experience? That's fine. Right, carry on. Hey, your son is curious. That's a good start. Now let's wait for him to become Craven. He also gained diplomacy. Nice. That's a really high diplomacy stat for uh, a three-year-old. Um, oh yeah, favors of a lady. I'll just keep them for just now. That's fine. Actually, no, we should just give them away. Um, guy, you are going to get both of the favors of a lady. There you go. You are also going to get the other one as well. There we go. Right. Back to the tournament. I have a 100% chance of victory. I have a bet to place. I will bet on myself. You know, I have a 100% chance. I might as well. Um, tabletop tantrum. The table flips with an almighty thwack, sending chess pieces flying. Yes, yes, you win, Emperor Gilbert. Happy? Um, well, um, you know you could have just conceded. That's fine. My knights have faced off, and Alderek is through to the semi-final. Uh, I'm going to face you. I'm going to beat Gwyn. Um, I'm not going to cheat. I, I'm going to lose a bunch of stress from that. It's nice. Uh, I'm going to go for this one. A 60% chance of good stuff. And we won. Wonderful. I'm starting to think my intent should switch to uh, stress relief. That's okay. Your old Aldrich has beaten uh, King Mil Chanel. And Aldrich will, of course, concede to his leash. We won! We're the Grandmaster Chess Player. Wonderful. I knew it all along. And we won our wager. Crazy, that. Um, I give a few words. I'm not going to. I have now received a goblet, a scepter. Hmm, that's kind of useful. And the prize crossbow. I don't know if we've seen a crossbow yet. And a ton of experience. 
Wonderful. Let's leave this. We have left. We have gone back. We lose stress for arriving home. Wonderful. Let's have a look at our... Oh, pause. My friend died. I'm now in critical stress again. Okay. Um, let's talk to my confidant. That's fine. Let's seclude myself. Okay. Just trying to lose stress under whatever way we can. That's fine. Um, and then, I wanted to have a look at this. Ah, so we're pretty much up there in food. We need a little bit more to get more prowess per stress level, which actually right now would be very good. And we gain some wit. I was kind of disappointed that the wit one also gives you stress for being craven. It's like, okay, we're not actually, you know, we're not in combat, but whatever. Um, maybe I should host a feast in the capital and just try and lose stress. I think we might have to. Yeah, what do you want to do? You want to forge a crown. Nope. Oh, and these are new things that I've got. That's okay. Let us uh, host a... It's this bun. Uh, a feast in our capital. Because I really need to lose stress. Right. Um... Are these all manor houses? Manor houses, farms, and fields and things? Okay, cool. I'm going to host it in our capital because I don't want to travel. Honorary guest? Uh, we don't need one. It's fine. I will pay a lot of money for this, though. Let's do it. Right. A feast. Let us have one. I just made 450 gold. Well done, wife. Right. Carrying on. Um... Yeah, seems fine so far. We've got an extra intrigue, thanks to graceful aging. Our prowess is also insane for someone of our age. Okay. Uh, demand artifact. You want the maritime trading handbook. Um. I, I would touch an odd question. Um, I guess you can have it. I'm not really that bothered. Yeah, I mean, like, okay. You can have it. It's fine. I'm not gonna fight you on it. Five months till our feast begins. It's fine. We will simply wait for the feast to start. And then we will go to it. Secrets exposed? We're not gonna imprison Philippa. I don't imprison anybody. It's fine. Uh, this one needs repaired. Okay. Should probably work out what I'm doing with it instead of just repairing it, but whatever. That's fine. How's the feast looking? It's about to begin. Wonderful. An experienced fighter. Great. You know the problem with experienced fighters game? I can't recruit them because I'm too paranoid. Anyway. That's fine. Welcome, friends. Disaster strikes. We have ran out of wine. Well, I will cra crack, open, crack open my secret stores. And that means that we don't have to worry about that. Uh, I would like to lose as much stress as possible. Ah, wonderful. Troubled cousin. The pleading gaze I received from my cousin Dietrich is taking on a desperate tone. A group of guests are approaching the corner he has hidden all evening and the walls are hindering his escape. We can talk to him in private and lose stress. Tell us a story or I'll distract the converging guests. This gives us a weak hook and we lose stress. I'll take it. It's what we want. Uh, and get friendship or a rivalry, I will take a friendship. That's fine. I know it gives us stress later, but it's better to stress later than somebody actively trying to murder us. And with that, the, th the feast is done. Okay, that's okay. And we get great banquet, which gives us development growth. Wonderful. Right, what's happening over here? There's like a massive war in Mercia. A uh, tyranny war. I see. Um, right. Uh, has it been a year? Wait a second. Roggenvolder holds it. Oh, no. No, this is terrible. His brother is already dead. Which now means that you have your heir being this guy. And that now means that West Friesland's going to go to you. I need to take West Friesland off of you. Count Dietrich. I either need to do that or I need to take Jarland off of Roggenvolder. I could take Jarland off of Roggenvolder. Yes, let's do that. I'm so sorry. I, I gave it to your brother as an accident. Um, please, come to my court. Please. 
uh, a lesson in lucre. So you can be just, you can be greedy, you can be callous. I'm absolutely fine with you being just. That is not a problem. All right. Wait a second for him to join my court. That's fine. I'm now going to give this land away to somebody else. Ingmar, son of uh, Count Dietrich of West Friesland. Hmm. I could give it to uh, Ingmar. Ingmar looks like... Oh, I was going to say it looks like he might have children, but he might not. Okay, right. Next one. Next one. So not Ingmar. Different line. Class. Class. You're not in line to anything. Your sibling is the queen is Queen of Wales through marriage. So is not actually in line to anything. Your grandparent was the King of Wales. I think this is fine. I think I can give Class this land, and then that means his brother is the other one. Clauvert. Actually his brother should get the land first. Yeah. And then his heir will be uh Class. Yeah. I'm going to grant you. Yaland. There we go. Enjoy it. Right. Ah, that fixes that problem of my own creation, I will admit, but it fixes the problem. Oh, I can upgrade that. I don't know why. Oh, because I, I previously when I scrolled down, I'd only scrolled to uh, uh, Rosenberg and scrolled to Krumlov. Oh, okay. Well, I think that's the last upgrade on that one anyway. That's fine. She is now, a, my mother is now a wise woman. Okay, uh, that seems fine. Right, next. I said we we're going to do some building, so let's, like, do some building. Um, by that, I'm meaning I want to go pretty much everywhere I can and just increase development. So just kind of go around and go, what have you got? What have you got? Yeah, like, trade ports here, we, can, we might as well improve. Um, it does take, I think it takes longer to convert if the, um, can I build this as well? I can build these for you. There's nothing in... Oh, no, I want development growth. Oh, I don't have mana realism. Okay. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, I think it takes longer to convert if they've got higher development. But, you know, in theory, we want to convert things that have higher development. Because then uh, we have higher like development provinces joining our culture. Which is good. Right? Uh, here, just double check and he couldn't build the other thing. That's fine. Grade that one. Zutfen, upgrade. Um, oh, you're missing a temple. Okay, that's fine. And you're missing... Nope, actually there's nothing else in there you're missing. That's fine. You're good to go. Cleaves. Let's upgrade that one. Oh, I'm missing something here as well. I thought I went and built everywhere, but I guess I missed a couple down here. Okay. That's fine. This one. Oh, I can upgrade the trade port. Let's do that. I should also have a look at the uh, secondary buildings here and see what I can upgrade. Uh, if there's anything that's obviously good. Um, don't suppose I could replace these with trade ports or anything. No, I can't even destroy them. That's fine. Right. Um, that's fine. That's fine. Arnhem, you're going. Next one. Trade ports we can upgrade. This one, we can upgrade this one, which gives us more development growth. Right. West Friesland. After we cause so many problems with them, I feel like we should probably upgrade their trade ports at the very least. That's fine. Right. Um, next one, we'll just move our way along here. Uh, trade port. Let's do the next one. Trade port. Do the next one. We're already building. Right. Upgrade your windmills. It's fine here. Uh, trade port we can upgrade. Trade port's worth it because it's giving development growth to the county. So even if all it's doing is, like, even if all it's doing is giving percentage, it's still worth it because it's upgrading whatever base development growth we've got. Like a lot of them have like just a little bit, especially from neighbors. So it's nice to just increase that number. Uh, Yiprin. Oh, we got some things we can upgrade here. It's fine, this one. We've got another trade port we can upgrade. Okay. Another trade port. Another windmill. There's a lot that we could, could in theory, build here. Another one here. It's fine. Just keep upgrading it. 
We, I do notice that my vassals are actually upgrading a bunch of their own stuff as well, which is nice to see. Oh, I should probably just upgrade them if I see them, even if they're not, like, um, development. If I've, if they, it's the only upgrade they've got, I should just upgrade it. But yeah, it's nice to see my vassals upgrading their own stuff. I guess that's because they have insane amounts of cash. Oh, I'm talking about insane amounts of cash, I'm about to run out. <laughs> I just noticed that here. So this is probably our last uh, couple buildings. Um, let's upgrade that one. And then let's upgrade the trade port. Nice. And that means that we need to start looking from... And I'm still I'm continuing to do it despite being out of money. Yeah, so effectively from the CN to the west, we haven't done anything. Okay, cool. Right, so they're now all going to start building, which is great. We're going to get a whole bunch of development growth. Apparently it's per county, not per, like, um, ruler or per whatever. The development growth bonuses from industrialists, that's nice. We don't get it everywhere. Sorry, I went in here without actually showing it. Like this one, uh, apparently this is per county, which is good. Um, but yeah, we won't get it in here, but we will get it in all the other ones that we've just upgraded. Because I think they're all of our culture. Yeah, so like all of those ones will get benefits in apart from Zutfen. So I think that will work out very well for us. Right. Well, that seems like a good moment to... Intro... Oh. Wait a sec, I was going to end the episode, but interesting. Damascusids now. So this is now named after the dynasty. Oh. Okay. So how did that happen? So this guy held it. You inherited it. Inherited by abdication. I think, again, this is where it changed. So last time we saw it change was this kind of thing by faction demand. Inherited by abdication has now put this person in charge. Let's see the difference between these guys. See, they're identical in terms of culture and religion. Interesting. Huh. One one in the middle is also identical. Yeah, I don't know what causes the name, but we see we know when it changes. It changes due to um like a, a, a by a faction demand. Like a war will change it. Hmm. Maybe they've got something in there where it's just like it forces a name change if there's like a the posing or something. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.